Welcome to this edition of the First Aid Show. Today we're going to look at using the bag valve mask in a short film presented by Tony, our paramedic, who presents our advanced life support course. What we're going to look at now is the use of the bag valve mask to ventilate the patient's lungs should they be breathing inadequately. We would always try and use an airway adjunct to enable us to get good ventilations. Typical bag valve mask has a chamber which holds approximately 1200 mils of air. And this is important to remember that when we're ventilating a patient, normal tidal volume is only about 500. So an adequate squeeze of the bag would just be to expel half of the amount of hair. And actually when you are ventilating a patient, try to think about how we breathe normally. We don't suddenly take a gasp, we breathe gently in and exhale slowly. And this we should replicate when we are ventilating our patient's lungs. Failure to ventilate in a, in a similar way to how we breathe would result in the epiglottis potentially closing and diverting air down into the stomach. And when the stomach's full, it will empty and the contents will come up into the patient's mouth, causing us further problems. So always try and replicate the way that we breathe when ventilating a patient. The mask should have an adequate amount of air in so that it will form a seal around the patient's face. And a really good technique for achieving a seal, first time, every time, is to hold your finger and thumb in a C shape over the mask, like so. Keeping these three fingers free. And then this part, the pointy part of the mask, goes over the bridge of the nose and then roll the mask down onto the patient's face, securing it with those three fingers over the hard bone of the mandible. Tilt the head back and we should At a normal respiratory rate or ventilatory rate for an adult would be approximately once every five or six seconds. And we can see rise and fall of the chest there, which confirms that air is going in and out of the lungs. 